Hi, I'm Laura Heritage. This is the second video in SOA Software's API management series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your developer portal to allow your users to log into the developer portal with their Google credentials. You can also do this with Facebook, Twitter, but I'm going to show you today how to do it with Google+. The first thing that we have to do is we have to configure the Google connector. The second thing we'll do is configure the login. And finally, the third thing we're going to do is test. If you'd like to try this out for yourself, you can request a free trial at SOA.com. But before we begin, you need to get your Google credentials. I've provided the URL below so that you can log in and get your Google credentials. Basically, you register the API platform as a Google app. Use the values provided by Google to set up the connector. You're going to need a Google app ID and the Google app shared secret. As you can see, I have no security domains configured. Let's add the Google security domain. We'll select the Google connector. We'll give it a name. Give it a description. This is where I'm going to add my Google client ID and secret, or app ID and secret. Google would have provided this to you. Finally, one last step. You only need to do this step if you are an existing user of the SOA software API management platform who use the Google OpenID relying party for login and have existing users you need to map to the new Google OpenID Connect. For this example, we will not need to configure this step. And we've finished configuring our Google Connector. Now that we configured the Google security domain, we can now configure our login to allow our users to use their Google credentials. To do that, we click on config. We click on logins. We see, you can see right here the Acme Google login that we just, the security domain we configured. We want to enable it. We upload an image. Okay, save that. And then we can choose how we want the mode that we want it to use, either to pop up or appear in the main screen. So I'm going to use a popped up and I'm going to save. Now when our users come to our developer portal, they have two different options of logging in. They can use the platform login, which we provide for you, or they can use their Google credentials to log in. Now let's test our Google login. It'll prompt you and tell you, okay, this app would like to use your Google credentials. These are the things that's going to be basically see uh, from your Google profile. You can accept that those terms. Next, it'll pre-fill out some of the information uh, about that Acme requires to log into the platform. You can accept the terms and conditions of using the platform and click finish. And now I've just used my Google credentials to create an account and log into the Acme developer portal. Thank you for watching the second video in SOA Software's API management series for how to configure your developer portal to log in or to allow your users to log into your developer portal with their Google credentials. As a reminder, you can do this with Facebook, Twitter, and others as well. If you'd like to, a free trial of SOA software uh, to try this out yourself, you can do that at SOA.com. Stay tuned for other videos in this series.